Hey, 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 this is John. Welcome back again, Trader for Life. Uh, this is the recording for the market ending at 628. This is the end of second quarter. The end of second quarter, which is June, June 2019. So, um, to give you guys basically a couple background, um, if you look at the market on Friday, we do have a um, we do have a, a last minute rally here. The last, I would say maybe the last 10 minutes. Um, market basically went up pretty quick. There's a lot of confidence that the trader, um, they're very confident with the Trump and also C uh, at the G20 summit. They're gonna um, uh, come out with some kind of deal in terms of the trade wars. So, of course, the news came out um, after the market rally um, that President Trump basically tweeted that we will not um, putting new tariff uh, or new tax rate or um, charging more tax on the new, um, new items. They're going to put it on hold until... Uh, the next further meeting. So that is a positive, uh, positive news. Uh, it is expected. That's why the last 10 minutes of the market tra uh, market close on Friday, it just basically spiked up pretty quick. It was 38 to 54 or 55. So that's about 17 points rally pretty quick. Um, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I can say that. So um, I guess if you look at the last week video, uh, you will see that I s spoke about a couple of the trades that I have, um, especially with EA, ATBI. We, we did book a profit on that. Um, I did basically <clears throat> took some profit. Uh, $900 on EA, uh, ATBI is about 480 uh, And then I jumped in into another trade again on Wednesday because EA uh, has a pullback, uh, and then I basically bought with target back to 100 again, or the 99.50. So I sold that, uh, of course, the next day on Friday. Um, I apologize, it's on, it's on Tuesday. Uh, and then on Wednesday, uh, I sold it on Thursday, uh, the end of Thursday, and then of course on Friday, it jumped out. Uh, and then they pull back and hit the support again, and then it's, it bounced back. So you're gonna have to pay attention on this. This is, has potential uh, upside to 105. That will be my next um, target. Let me make this thing bigger so you guys can see this. Um, 105, it's right here. Uh, this area. That will be one, two, five. I'm gonna put an alert here, um, so I know that will be trigger. Um, and of course, uh, I also put another alert here. Um, one oh one ninety is also another area that you need to watch because that is the resistance. So I wanna I wanna see where's EA basically going. <clears throat> I know I'm jumping ahead here with the trade that I had, so, um, but I'm not going to discuss the ETF. Um, uh, I think everybody knows that um, Monday, I think we're going to have a gap up because of the news. So that is positive for the, new, uh, for the market, and I think we will keep going grinding higher. So uh, I'm not going to cover that, but um, just a couple of stocks that I'm going to pick and, pick and choose and cover on this. And then after that, we're going to talk about the option as well. Um, so in here, um, I would say um, pay attention. It probably will just sideways here uh, between 102 and um, 99.50. That which is the area that you can be uh, look out. Um, probably will start selling the 95, uh, 96 options. Um, and then we we'll go from there. We'll, we'll see what, what's going to happen. ETBI is a little bit weak on Friday. Um, it was red comparing with EA. Uh, take two, um, I can spell that. Take two, 
was also weak. Uh, we did close a little bit positive, even though there's an update on this one, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so we just have to see where is it going. Uh, another thing is Tesla, which I want to keep continue looking at this. This has a potential to go upside. Um, 235 still the resistant. Um, let me see if I can change it to a little bit bigger. Uh, there you go. And you can see right there, um, it will start hitting the trend line here. Uh, and we have to see if it break, then 35 here is gonna be the next uh, target and then 250. 250 is the major, major resistance. Something that you have to pay attention. I'm gonna uh, start selling a call again on top of this uh, weekly call and then uh, see if I can play in between this area. Um, so this is something I'm gonna pay attention. Apple, um, 200 was the major resistance. Uh, it was broken at 201 and then it start pullback. There is a new, uh, there, there was a news that John uh, Ivy, or how do I spell his name, or pronounce his name, Ivy, um, he basically uh, left the company and um, he basically start, uh, you go with the startup, he started with his own company and design and stuff with um, other friends. So it's kind of the major uh, player there. He's been with the company a long, long time since Steve job and Apple One. Uh, I'm sorry, not Apple One, iPhone One. So um, yeah, we'll see. I, th I think it has potential just going in this area. Let's see where is it going. Um, I do also think we have uh, June 4th, which is a holiday here in the US. Uh, that's coming up. I do think the market will keep from, uh, keep floating up. Um, and then that's where I'm going to start seeing there might be a pullback. Um, the market is just basically thinking um, we, we buy the room or sell the news. So we, we just have to see where is it going. I mean, I'm not going to short it. I just have to see where is it going uh, from here. If it's going to take a new high or is it going to be just sideways. If it's sideways and, and if there's any potential like an overbought situation, I probably will short it um, and then go from there. Uh, if it doesn't, then I'm not going to touch anything. Um, it's, it's a tough market basically to pull a short right now. Um, so what else? Uh, target, um, we just basically continue sideways in this area. Um, another thing that I want to take a look, which is uh, gold. It basically bounced a little bit. Um, I need to see where's the gold going with the news that was released on uh, late Friday and, and Saturday morning on, on, on the trade war. So I think gold will continue to pull back here. Uh, 130 is the major, major support. I'm going to start buying on that and accumulate for uh, maybe 2020 or 2021 um, upside. So uh, we just have to see from there uh, what else. Uh, let's take a look a little bit on the uh, a couple of stuff that I have. SDNE, uh, I do have this stock for a long term. I bought it in 32. Uh, also 26, um, 28, so just a couple of accumulation that I have here for long time. I do like the stock will go up to 35 and then uh, go back to 37 and $40. That would be my target, but this is a long-term play, so don't expect it's going to be a quick run um, unless they do announce another earning again and earning is basically like a blow up earning in day basically make a very good money in every single transaction. But this is a company in Brazil that basically do a, a premium processing like Square, PayPal. Um, so, yeah, and then what else? Um, FBIV, this is also the trade that I had. Um, I do expect uh, there's a pullback here back to the 80-ish, um, uh, and then that's where I probably want to start buying again. Uh, right now, it, it is on the support um, in the resistance and also support if you basically break that. So, this is just sideways right now. Um, I just have to see where it's going. Um, there are 
potential, another ending in July. Uh, we don't know if it yet, it's just speculation right now. So we just have to see where is it going. Um, I do like this stock for a long time as well. I'll probably go back to $50, that's where the value is. Um, okay, um, I'm not gonna cover that much about the stock. Uh, I wanna go to the option. A uh, couple things that I, uh, I promised to the, to the group here that I want to make um, a, a option 101. What is option? What is the benefit trading with option? Option strategies, adjustment option, uh, adjustment on the options. What, what kind of adjustment that needed, you know, let's say if it's against you a position. Um, how do you play option into a stock for a long term? And you can also do weekly income. Um, I'm not going to cover the product line and all that stuff. I think uh, it's it just too much. Um, we're going to keep it short and sweet here. Um, options, um, basically, it's it's an insurance. So it's a contract that everybody able to buy or sell, but you, do, you are not required to, um, to keep it. Um, so it, it's a short-term play. Um, also, it could be a long-term play to buying like a leaf. It means like let's say you buy an option uh, a year or two years ahead. So let's say right now it's June 2019. You're looking at somewhere June 2021. Okay, that's where the lead option. Um, now most people normally that play option they play short term, they play weekly. Um, even SPX or SPY they do have a, a three days days three days I believe three days weekly um, bi-weekly you know or three weeks monthly you know whatever the, 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 the time period that you want to set up on the strike and the expiration um, so there's a couple of uh, things with option um, oops I don't mean to remove that um, options you can buy a call option if you are long um, and and you're bullish with the stock there's also an option where you buy put. This is where mostly where people that own the stock, they basically buy a put for an insurance. So let's say they buy a stock Apple at 200, but they're kind of EV, EV basically buying at 200. So they buy at 200 and then they sell, I mean, they, they also buy a put. Um, let's say if the market is basically overbought. So let's say if the Apple pull back, to let's say 195, their put is basically making money. So, so it's gonna offset the purchasing time when they bought it at 200. So that, 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 that's kind of one of the, the things, right? So it's like an insurance. If something happened, you're protected uh, with the put. Um, that's mostly a lot of people do. Uh, there's also a call option. Um, let's say you buy a call, and then you're thinking, hey, um, the, the stock, or I'm sorry, if you own the stock and then you want to keep it for long term, but you want to do, let's say, um, we call it a poor man spread uh, or cover call. It, it's basically um, you're buying call, but you're, I'm sorry, you're buying stock, you're selling the call. So you're technically getting a uh, weekly or a bi-weekly or three weeks, four, four, four weeks um, premium from that call option. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go deep on that. Um, it's gonna be the next um, uh, presentation I'm gonna do and then show it to the, to the member so they can understand a little bit better. So it's called a cover call. So if you have time, do research what is cover call uh, Infest, Opedia, this is the website that I, I use a lot. They give you a very good information about option, about cover call spreads and all that stuff. I recommend you to uh, take a look on that and see um, what you can um, learn from there. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, so we already cover option. So what is the benefit of trading option? Um, when you're buying options, um, it's basically it's cheaper because you're only paying the premium what of the st the stock price. So let's say the stock price for Apple is two hundred dollar, right, per share. 
Um, so if you look at here, okay, so let's say 198 here. Uh, let's say you are bullish with Apple and you're thinking maybe by July, you will go back to 200. So right now the option price for July 19, okay, of 2019 is about 415. So four dollar on a bit ass is 430. I'm taking in the middle, so 415. 415 is the premium. Okay, you gotta have to keep in mind this is the premium that you're paying for expecting Apple will go up to 200 by July 19. Okay, so it's not the stock price. The stock price is 197 and 92 cents right now. Now. So what happened if, let's say by July, the time fly, um, and then the stock basically, yeah, it is hit 200, then your premium will start losing its value. It will become less and less and less and un until it becomes zero at the, at the time of the expiration. Now, there, there is a calculation here. So let's say um, the stock by, July 19, 2019, okay, um, it's gonna be, let's say 201. 201 minus 200, which is a dollar difference. Now, you pay 415, at the end of July 19, your option will become a dollar. Okay, that 415 will deplete it, become a dollar. So it's not a good play um, if, um, you're basically, um, let's say, speculated, and then it's it's uh, the stock doesn't go what you're expecting. Okay. Now it will be different if, let's say, the stock suddenly pop and there's a news and it goes to two ten, right? So there's a ten dollar difference up there. So your four dollar fifteen, it, it possible become let's say eight dollars. Now you basically pocket it, you know, whatever the profit is in between. So that's something, um, you know, it's profitable. Okay. Um, now let me go back. It's option, it's used for speculation. This is mostly a short term trader. Um, most people, they also buy a long term. Okay. But it goes, they're buying a lead option. Okay. But mostly, 90% traders that playing option are short term traders. Okay. Now, insurance. I already talked about this about hedging. You bought the stock at 200. You feel the stock is it's overbought, but you don't want to miss momentum so you can buy the put for protection. Okay. Of course, if the stock doesn't go down, then you're um, insurance will basically go on. It's an insurance money, okay? Now, um, also the other option is option seller. So early I talk about buying an option. Now, I am, I basically like this play. I am a seller, I'm an option seller. I always a believer, this is also um, something I learned over the time. People that buying options, most can, can most likely losing money because the theta is decaying over the time, especially when it's not hitting the stripe that you want. Okay. Now, in the other side, remember, with trading, there's always a buyer and there's always a seller. So, with me, uh, with my strategy, with what I like, I like weekly income, it's a smaller profit but it's a steady and it, it has more statistic to win with selling option okay so that's that's me it's not as an option seller now there's also a benefit of trading option the other one is called option it's offering a lot of variation and techniques so what does that mean so let's say if I'm buying an option or I'm or I'm selling an option either one let's let's pick buying an option Apple Okay, July 19, 2019, I'm buying at strike 200, 
Okay, going back here again. Let's strike 200 at $4.15. Okay, let's say I'm buying here. Single. Okay. You don't want to. You don't want to use the, the ask price, but always adjust it. 415 is a mid price, kind of fair price. Um, and then let's say within a couple of days, suddenly um, the stock goes up, go down, and it's still steady within one NEA. And this $4.15 is become $4 and it's become less and less and less, right? Now you're thinking, hey, you know, I don't like the way how Apple behaving is not doing what it's supposed to be now you can go back to the weekly option which is july 5th and you can sell the 200 call okay now you're buying oh i don't mean that um let me see if i can change it it's called calendar okay so you're buying a july 19 but you are selling the um the july 5 on 200 call and you can see right there it's you become a you're getting a credit um it's you can see that you're paying four dollar but you're getting a two dollar um let's say two dollar 28 okay but keep in mind you got to be very careful on this i normally not do this a lot um, especially buying this a month. I normally buy, um, let's say, three to six months ahead, just in case if it's something that against me, I still able to sell weekly, okay? And then win, win the, um, the profit from there. Um, you don't wanna do this blindly. You need to understand where's the support, the resistance, where's the market, thinking it's going that that's basically how i do it okay um but yeah just there's a lot of option variation what you can do from here you, let's say you can also sell um you're thinking that hey apple is gonna go down you can also buy the put okay instead of call so um instead of selling the call so um but of course there's gonna be another level it's a protection so you can play it both ways okay that is buying call or buying puts. Um, in the other hand, I like doing selling. So let's say I'm thinking, hey, $200 is the resistance, and I don't think Apple will go, by July 5th, I don't think Apple will go up above 200. Then I can sell this, it's called sell vertical, okay? And I'm gonna put, let's say, $5 difference. Uh, let's move that one. And then it's two or five. That will give me a credit about a dollar fifty-two per contract. So in this case, it's a ten lots, which is ten contracts. One contract equal a hundred share. Okay, so ten contract, a dollar fifty-two. That's equal about fifteen uh, one five two zero. So about fifteen hundred credit to my pocket or to my account, if. Apple did not go above 200 by July 5th, okay? Now what happened if it goes above 200? Now you do have an option to roll over, okay? You have to do it in the right timing. If it's above 200 right away, then you need to roll over or you can do roll up as well. You look at the next resistance, maybe it's 210, maybe it's 2. 20 or whatever okay and then you can roll over to a different calendar here now if it goes deep against you you need to roll over faster before it start hitting your uh it, the, the profit become a losses okay remember you are you're getting credit for dollar 52 so your break even is about 201 and 52 cents 200 plus a dollar okay that's a calculation so what's the margin you're putting here? It's five dollar right here, two hundred and two hundred five is five dollar gap or five dollar difference times ten, which is five thousand dollars. So that's your margin is going to be reserved on the trading account. You cannot use that until this trade expire worthless or you close it. Okay. 
All right, so I, I think I already go deeper on that one. Um, now that is option. There's also like butterfly, uh, calendar, diagonal, uh, spread. And there's also um, um, straddle and strangle. Okay, Google it. Okay, this is something that I want you guys to do your homework if you're really interested to learn about option, because it, it can be very beneficial if you're really into trading. Now, what is the risk of option trading? Option will expire at the time of the expiration. I said the, the example I gave Apple 200 by July 19, 2019. Now, let's say by July 19, 2019, it doesn't go above 200, then the premium that you pay for dollar and 15 cents will expire worthless. Okay, that's mean you're losing money. Your option, what you pay, the premium will be zero. Okay, option price can fluctuate depending on the volatility. Uh, volatility. In this example, earning season. Okay, earning season um, ten. There's always a news that moves the stock. Okay, it can go, let's say, ten dollar or minus ten dollar. So that um, it has a formula calculated and embedded into the option premium at that week, okay? Uh, good, this is also good for an option seller. Since the premium will be more expensive, so you're collecting more credit. Keep in mind, if the stock against you, okay, or let's say the earning announced and suddenly the stock basically went down or went up above or below your strike price when you're selling it, it's gonna start picking your margin, okay? That's something that I need to put a disclaimer. Be careful with selling an option as well. So you have to know when, where you're selling it, and when are you using this tool, okay? Um, all right, so this is option strategies, buying call or put, this is a straight call and straight put. Selling call or put, okay? This is just selling, not, not spreading. It's also called a naked, uh, naked. Big margin require or to purchase stock at a cheaper price, okay? I'll, I'll talk about this also on the next um, presentation. So I, I do want to cover this because a lot of people use this as well to own the stock, okay, at the cheaper price. Um, this is the one I just mentioned earlier on the, on the previous example, buying call spread or buying a put spread. You're also able to selling call spread and put spread. This is called vertical spread or calendar spread or diagonal spread, okay? This is the one I talked about and then more. Strangle, straddle, yada, yada, butterfly. Um, now, adjustment strategy, okay? I also covered this early on the call. Um, uh, on, the, on the second slide or the third slide, that let's say if Apple, uh, you buying Apple July 19, 2019, at 200 strike, um, if it if you feel that it's not going there, then you can adjust it. You can sell, you can buy the put, or you can sell in the call. Okay, so you can, so it can minimize your your loss. Okay, um, or Eventually, if you play it correctly, you can make money over the time. So that's something that I will cover this on the member, the membership group. Um, you can also buy more to average down your cost. So let's say, um, I don't recommend this if you're just buying a, a monthly or a weekly uh, because it will expire faster. That's why I recommend to buy three to six months is the sweet spot. Um, or you can buy also um, um, annual elite uh, option. You buy a long option with longer time frame and sell weekly. This is the one I talk about, the calendar option. You can also sell the bottom or top call or double dip the profit. This is iron condor. So I did this on Tesla um, um, trade this, um, this week. So let me go to Tesla. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to go back. Yeah, it doesn't let me. So, the, the, so but I can tell you on my on here. Okay. 
All right, so let's go here. I'm gonna give you guys the history of the account so you guys can see uh, orders, everything that filled. Okay, you can see right here Tesla. Um, let me see, June. Oh, let's go by time. There you go. All right, so the trade that I did was here. I'm selling. Um, I'm selling 235 to 40. And I'm collecting, um, this is basically the, the week which has changed. But last week it was acquired on June 28th. The, the credit was 80 cents times five contracts. So I'm collecting about $400. Okay, this is on the, on the call side. So I'm selling the call. Um, and then I see the market basically with Tesla just go sideways. So I did sell another one on the bottom that also June 28th, uh, keep in mind this is, uh, this is on Saturday, so this June 28th is already gone. So I'm selling 200 with uh, 195 spread and I'm collecting 24 times five. So that's about $120. So I'm basically collecting about $520 iron condor play, okay? Because I'm collecting the top, and the bottom is called iron pond okay that which is 520 dollar for tesla alone on that and then plus ea ebdi trade uh bdif trade okay all that stuff so um yeah so that's basically the um the adjustment strategy and also some of the winning trades Converting option into stock for a long term. So buying option, I, I did speak about this, buying option to speculate and convert it into a stock at the time of expiration. Not so many people does this. That is true because keep in mind, when you buy option, the option premium will become less and less and less as the time progress. Now there's a lot of people as a trader and investor prefer to sell the option and collect the premium to purchase a specific stock in a cheaper price. Let me give you an example on this. So um, let's say you like Apple for a long term. You basically want to own the stock. You don't mind to own the stock. So you can sell a 200 here in single, okay? It will give you about five dollar and eighty cents um, credit. Um, now, depending on how many contracts, so one contract that will be equal five hundred and eighty dollar credit. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna talk about the the number first, but I wanna get you guys the process here. So two hundred minus five dollar. So let's say the stock price is uh, one ninety seven and ninety two cents. Okay, and then you basically minus the five dollar and eighty cents that roughly about one ninety two and ten cents or twelve cents. Okay, keep in mind one ninety two and ten cents. So let's say if um, Apple by June or July nineteen did not go above two hundred, then you your option will get exercised. It means that you are obligated if you don't if you don't buy it right away or purchase back your option by the time of the expiration you are obligated or your option will be exercised by the broker and you'll be assigned let's say you bought you're selling one contract that equal a hundred share so you have to have a money on your account um a margin it's going to be two hundred dollar time a hundred share okay equal twenty thousand so you have to have twenty thousand on your account because that option will get exercised and convert become a stock now on the other hand because you do receive five hundred eighty dollars right remember you selling it you receive five hundred eighty dollars so net net your purchasing 
at the time it was about 194 and 20 cents okay well of course depending on the stock at that time it could be 195 it could be 200 or it could be the 199 so the difference there it could be a profitable for you or it could be a loss but keep in mind since you are buying it from a for a long term you don't really care about the the, the stock price at that time because you do accumulating the stock at the cheaper price does that make sense if it does that's good i'm not gonna go deeper because i will have another presentation with all the numbers all the graphic that will explain the step by step but in this moment just think about the strategy right what is option what option do i have play with option okay that's called option. You have a lot of options. What kind of variation and strategy that you can play with certain timing and certain stock chart, right? All that stuff. Once you master that, you can utilize option and you can make a good money using this. Okay. This week, this month alone. I basically have about uh, net net about five thousand um, dollar performance month to debt. Oh, what happened here? Uh, I think a lot of stuff just changed completely. So even like the, today's accounting is like doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, year to date is about nine ninety five hundred. So this is all looks about the stock that I've been playing, EA, GE, Tesla, everything, right? Of course, on the downside, not all trades are profitable. Okay, I'm going to be honest with everybody. There's also some of the stock that I'm still holding, SPME, I'm still holding, uh, XPXE, NBAB, SEAL, I'm still holding, SPAM already closed that, uh, SDS, I'm still holding. So most likely all this stuff, I'm still holding it. Um, so um, the rest is basically the profit. So. If this thing basically start changing to green, um, total gain will basically higher than about fifteen thousand roughly. Okay, now just want to give you guys basically some kind of idea um, what you can use just to get yourself an understanding what kind of option pools that are available and use them because you do know how to play certain stock with the certain time frame with the certain chart looks like and you can enter the trade and you're very confident that you're gonna win that okay now i'm gonna give you an example here Come on. okay i'm gonna go with tesla Tesla is going to keep continue. I'm um, going to be a money maker here for me. So, Tesla, I mentioned this earlier 235 is the resistance, uh, and then the second resistance, major resistance, is 250. Okay, 250 and 255, roughly within that area. So, this is something I'm going to pay attention if it does break to this to the upside, this downtrend is breached. So, Tesla has a way or a room basically to go back somewhere at 250 and then if that 250 breach then it will go to roughly like 300 okay now this is something that i want to pay attention if it's gonna still playing within this triangle right here we do have these downtrend and also the support right here at 208 so it could be just keep going sideways so if that's the case, then I can still selling the 235 and 240 like I did last week. Okay. And then pay attention if it does breach the 208. Then if it does not, then I will sell the 200 and the 195 again in the same play I did last week. So this is something that you have to know where the chart, right? Um, if it does against you, then you know where to roll over, okay, uh, or roll up. The 250 and 255 that would be the, the, the sweet spot because i don't think tesla will automatically breach this right away unless there's crazy news uh with tesla they basically ah we're selling the car a cheaper price and 
even cheaper price, they're not going to make money because they lose a lot of money on, on average farm at the moment. So, um, yeah, it's it, uh, that's why I know probably the Tesla will start just moving in this direction. Okay. All right, so, and then um, Apple, just another example. Um, I do think Apple probably will gap up on Monday. And the same thing with Tesla. And then we have to see where it's going. Is it gonna go grinding higher, go back to the 215 area? Or is it just gonna play with this area? So now, I know the ne my next play is selling the 215 um, and 220. Or I can sell the 200 and 195 area uh, for the for the, the bottom side, right? Um, we just have to see where the whole market is going on Monday and next week. So um, that's it for me. Um, expect I'm gonna cover option uh, with the detailed information next week. Uh, I'm gonna prepare that, that PowerPoint and presentation with all the graph and then make it available for everybody that are interested to know about options. Uh, without further ado, I will stop the recording and have you guys um, have a great weekend and enjoy your weekend with family and we'll make more money next week.